like it? Yeah, of course you will. What do you think, Michelle? Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, she'll like it. I noticed you weren't asking me. Yeah, and I can't say I blame her. Look, I'll meet you later on in the camp, right? I'm just gonna go and see Mum. It's not a proper holiday. It's not long enough. I'll leave it out, Mark. You're never at school anyway. Permanent half turn for you, innit? Oh, Ask before you do that. Can I have an apple one, Paul? Look, if you don't eat your tea, Mum will kill you. He's already had a kebab. Wait, Mum. Boy, you can give me. Where's the toilet roll, Mum? Oh, so I suppose he knows all, does he? No, he don't. I don't know nothing. That's what I spent all day. But she must have guessed. Look, in this house, you can guess anything in this house. Oh, if you can guess where the toilet roll is. So, how do you feel about it then, eh? Well, I'd like to say I'm very pleased. Well, I think it's their business. Don't be so cheeky. Oh, I see. Leave her out of it. You're going to have a little brother or a little sister. What do you think of that? Well, I hope they have more luck with the toilet roll. Well, I'd like to say That's I'm very pleased. That's because you're soft in the head. Now, on purpose, she is. I'll do it. Oh, thanks. So she's not coming down, it means seeing him. But he's still in bed, she knows he is. I don't see why he gets along. Oh. I mean, when do I ever get the chance? It's like Clapham Junction down here. And that's another thing, where's that baby going to sleep when it grows up? It won't be a baby when it grows up. Well, I suppose I'll be out in the back garden by then. I don't blame her for you know. Who? Graham. And look at him hiding up in his room. He's not hiding, he's just keeping out from under Mum's feet. Oi, leave him alone. I mean, she knows he doesn't like him hanging around in the rush hour. You heard the latest. We're expecting a little visitor. Little visitor? That's what Grand calls fleas. What? Oh, Tala, thanks. Yeah, is your dinner money? Oh, Mark? Oh, I don't know how she could. All right, you ready then? Yeah, all right. Mm. Oi, come on, Mark. Yeah, coming. Get lofty. Then it's a quiz. You've got to be joking. Oh, go on, I'm skin. Look, you're skin, I'm skin. It's a way of life, isn't it? Uncle Pete, shouldn't you be at school? Oh, I've got two free periods. Yeah. Uh... Bunking all you mean? No, straight up. I've got to do an essay. A day in the life of my area. An essay? You? <laughs> Takes you half an hour to write your name at the top of the page. Lens, quid. I'll pay you back, Friday. I'll tell you what, I could do a round on the stall. You all cash give an hand and hand. How much for the morning? A quid, you see. I'm oh, not for a morning's work. That's slave labour. Take it or leave it. Are you sure that's right? Yeah, of course it is. I think it should be 122. Yeah, I think the lad's having a bit of trouble with his maths dog. Sorry about that. Must be the new math. 20 feet. Now listen, the second law of the market stall is you don't shortchange your regulars, right? Okay, a punter you've never seen before, fair game. But remember, a regular's your bread and butter, right? It was like you said, Uncle Pete, just be maths. First rule, anyway. Anything you do, fiddle, belongs to the governor. Why isn't he at school? Well, I'm on a free period, Grand Honest. Doing community studies. Well, you better be back there this afternoon or there'll be trouble. You were a cussy list, Ma. Surprised that you Pete encouraging him. I don't know, don't seem to be able to trust any of you these days. Oh, you wouldn't miss just one. If I'd wanted less, I'd have made less. Mum, Mark, come in here, will you? This is Detective Sergeant Rich. This is my mum-in-law and my boy. Evening. Hello, Mark. I want to ask you a few questions. You know how it goes. Better do as he says, son. Come on. I ain't done nothing. You've been in trouble before, ain't you? You're a bit of an elusive lad. I've been trying to talk to you for a few days now. Oh, yeah. You haven't been to school much lately. I've been sick. Is that right? I wrote him a couple of notes for school. I suppose he never had the sense to give them in. Yeah. I believe there was one. Not that anyone could read the signature. What do you know about Reg Cox? Same as everyone. Else. Well, that must be quite a bit. 
When you're off sick, you spend a lot of time around here. Down at a cafe, in the market, all within a stone's throw of Reggie's place. Look, I know Mark had a bit of trouble when he was younger, but that's no reason to start We're talking him. to everyone, sir. Now, where were you on the day Reg Cox got done? Well, can we really write him a note for school, Mum? So, what's been going on? Nothing. Look, Mark, we are your family, and we will speak up for you, but if something's been going on, we need to know. I told you. I ain't done nothing. Paste! Oh, for God's sake, Mark, you have to stand there. Look! Paste. Paste, please. Right. Upstairs. Da, 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 da. Have a look at that lot. Come in the post first thing this morning. Oh. Bedroom overlooking the sea. Colour hey. TV, jacuzzi, sauna. Oh, if that don't cheer up, nothing will. What is it? It's an holiday for Gwen. I mean, she don't know about it yet. Now listen, sis, just leave it all spread out, right? And when she comes down, don't say a word. Just let her find it. Oh, I'll have to see her face, but I've got to get back. She will be all right about it, won't she, Pete? All right about it. You've got to be joking. You're going to be thrilled to bits. I mean, look at it. Just remember, not a word, and see how long it takes before the penny is dropped. Right? Oh, Arthur, by the way, new potatoes, first in Egyptian. Thanks, oh, please. Here. Oh, let's know what happens. Hey? Yeah. <laughs> hey. oh. Well, it all looks very nice, I must say. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Well, it says there for two. Well, who's the other one going? Oh, sandwich. What's all this for God's sake? Claremont Hotel? Clacton? We have pleasure in confirming your booking for the week of April the 13th for Miss Louise Beale and Miss Michelle Fowler? Me? <laughs> oh, there it is. I must be off. Oh. It's a, a little holiday for you, Mum. I hope you like it. Ta-da! Look, hold on! Oh, you're flaming, don't. Here, have that one. So. I haven't got a spare couple of fags of money for people. No, I haven't. Cheers. Here, wait a minute. How's your grand take it then? What? About her holiday. Please, was she? Oh, yeah, really pleased. Like, ramming the brochures back down on the table and doing her nut with Mum. She was pleased, all right. Bloody hell. That's all right, love. Nothing personal. Just the human race in general. I'm not going to like this. Mark! Over here, got something to tell you. Well, you're in trouble, you are. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, they gave me a note in school for Mum and Dad. All about you. <laughs> what are you giggling at? Nothing. Well, I suppose no one ever gets in trouble at your school. Never. We're well behaved, young ladies, we are. You look it. I can't remember. I can't. Come on. I've given it to Mum. <laughs> given it to Mum? That's who it was addressed to. What, without even reading it first? Look, I don't read other people's letters. Oh, thanks a lot, Shell. Nice one. Look, it's not my fault if you ain't at school and they have to give me your notes. And anyway, it could have been about me, about my options or something. Yeah, well, cheers anyway. I'll do the same for you one day. I don't know how I put up with you. Can I get anything else for you? You don't mind me asking. Tea was an hour ago. Oh, don't worry, Gwen. I'll get me on. Oh, no, you won't. I want to talk to you about this. Yeah, well, I heard about it. Well, what's the asshole? I mean, I'd have left by Easter anyway, so what's the point in bothering? It's a waste of time. Look, I don't like your attitude. Now, you sit down and tell us what this letter's all about, right? You might as well tell him, Mark, because he's going to go down to the school and hear all about it anyway. I mean, what is it? Is it something you've done or your work or what? I'll get it. Expecting someone? No. Are you okay? It's the police. Evening, Mrs. Beale. Mr. and Mrs. Fowler. Wonder if I could have a word with Mark. About this. How was I tonight? I don't care whether you knew or not. You got money out of me for nothing. I want it back, that's all. Now leave off, Lofty. I've got... Oh, give us it, Lofty. I mean... Bloody hell. There's that copper again. A whole bunch of them. Where are they going? I don't know. I'm off. Yeah. So I nick dinner money and I buy fags and some days I bunk off. And Jess, I'm afraid I'll be leaving school without a CSE to my name. Quite honestly, Dad, I don't care. School's a load of crap. Mark! 
Mark. I admit it all. So what? Next question. All right. What about home then? Pinching money from your mum's purse, pinching her fags. I don't. We know you do. Look, it seems this all boils down to smoking. If you didn't need money for cigarettes, you wouldn't be doing these things. Smoking? The big crime, eh, Mum? Well, you shouldn't be doing it. Not at your age. It's bloody ridiculous. What about Mum, then? Smoking when you're pregnant? Even I know that's wrong. We're talking about you, not Mum. She's been smoking for 20 years. She's got the habit. But there's no need for you to get it too, is there? All it's doing for you is getting you into trouble. Anyway, from now on, you get no pocket money. I don't get none anyway. And dinner money. You get none of that either. What's the point of that? Because I'm not forking out for you to spend on fags, am I? Well, I'm even more likely to sneak someone else's dinner money than I'm. Are you taking the mickey or what? No. Good God, it's one thing after another with you, innit? I've had to take the day off work to sort out you and your troubles. Don't you care what happens to you? And what exactly are you going to do when you leave school? Have you thought about that? Yeah. Much the same as you, I expect, Dad. Sit around on the arse, drawing the doll. <gasps> Mark! Don't hit me, Mum. I don't like it. It makes me lose my temper. Why, get out! Just get out! Come on, I won't have you talking to your father like that. He's not a no-good layabout skyver. I don't want to see you for the rest of the day! Oh. Why, you? Cheer up! Nap on. Oh, nice. Got any fags? No. What am I, Nana? What the zoo? Well, how did the big lecture go? Well, like, what did they say? Was Dad really angry? Look, give it a break, right? Don't push me. I'm not pushing you. Look, I'm just trying to say if there's anything I can do to help. Yeah, naff off like I said. Oh, I try to be nice. I try to be friendly. You don't strain yourself. Obviously, it's not worth it when you're concerned. Watch him up. All right. What are you doing? A weekly wash? Nah, keep him warm. It's freezing out there. You got an home to go to, my lad? Don't talk to me about home. About time I was leaving mine, I reckon. Yeah? Fag? Wanna come to West Ham with me tonight? Skin. On me, old son. I'll treat you. Hang on, I'll just make the phone call. Let me get going, eh? Paint the town red. Looks like you need cheering up. Oh, uh, and one thing. I've got one or two bits of business up there, right? Strictly, you know, uh, and I might take a bit of time. What I'm saying is, I can't guarantee getting you back in time for your bedtime story. Nah, four. No, seriously, what time you got to be back? Well, no time, especially. And you got to be up bright and early for school, then? Stuff school. Right. As long as that's your attitude. is going to be a perfect Sunday, right? Oh, she wouldn't let me in. She's still at it. I could strangle her. Oh, no, no, no. Look, no. this is supposed to be a perfect Sunday. Thank you. And if anybody ruins it, anybody, by a careless word or any nonsense whatsoever, then life won't be worth living. Got that? Do some more fried bread, mum. Are you listening to your father? Because you're still in trouble, my boy, for staying out all night. Now, look, I mean it. This is going to be a real family effort. A real family Sunday. And everybody's going to be devoted to making her upstairs happy, whether she likes it or not. So you, white shirt and a good wash for both of you. And the pair of you can get over to your Uncle Pete's to collect the meat. <laughs> Security call, more like. Mind you, don't... God, I couldn't have to do with a fag. Mum. Right, now, everyone's going to be nice to everyone, but especially to Gran. Right? Right? Yes. And get her to have her palm red. And you bring up the subject of the holiday first, Ian, because she likes you. Yeah, he's a little favourite, isn't he? Just watch it, you. I still haven't finished with you for staying out all night. Leave it out, Mum. That was days ago. And in school time, too. I'm old enough to stay out for one, eh? Oh, yeah, well, when you're old enough to vote, you can. Till then, watch it. And where was you, anyway? Mum. Well? I told you, I went up west. This guy. Hmm. Well, you've been warned. You were seen up west with Nick Cotton, you liar. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs>
after him, though, up on Sunday, sir. We ain't, so you can clear off and get your dirty feet off my clean floor. Oh, go on, let me and Mike have just one game, won't Not we? even half a game, lads. We're closed, all right? Of course, so... Look, you were the one who got you into it in the first place. Does your mother know how much you feed into that machine? You'll get addicted. What? Like your old man? All right, that's it. Come on, out. Where are you going to go now? Nice couple of days. How about it then, Grad? How about what? Easter in Clacton. With Michelle. Who'd love to go? Oh, go on, Grad. It'd be great. It's a bit the image of your granddad, you are. <laughs> All right, then. All right, I'll give in. Yeah, does that mean you're going to go? Yeah. I'll go. Don't worry, all of you. You got what you wanted. I'll go. But is that all you got to say? For now, yeah. And now me and it fancy a bit of privacy, don't we? It. We're going up to my room now. Come along, it. So it's all. Look at this lot. Disgusting, isn't it? Well, at least they got what they wanted. Now maybe they'll leave me alone. Oh, well, it's all right for you. You ain't got to go to Clacton. She still doesn't say anything about the baby, though, has she? Baby. Oh, go on, Gran. It'd be great. Yeah, about it, Gran. Well, I'm not staying round here. I'm going for a walk. Yeah, come on. Unless you want to stay with the wrinklies. Maybe someone lost it. Yeah, there's some more in the clock. Broken. Oh, look, you can see it's all been nicked. You know about these sort of things, do you? That's all the dresses on the estate. Someone's been doing the estate. Oh, never worried about Michelle before. Hell, she was never in use before, was she? Look, sisters have girlfriends, right, which they bring round. Supply of girls. I never realised how useful she was to be. That's a pity you not having one. I'd rather you'd pitied me shipping this on my own. Oh, now it's just her and Sharon. And Kelvin. So? They won't both get him, will they? A bit of luck, Michelle will get Kelvin, and you'll be left for Sharon. Right. Or you like Sharon? Yeah, but I don't want this system. Quiet! There's a man up here with hangover! Mm -hmm. Just think before you get over her as a mother in law. Everything's funny. Look, I've got to get home. Got to do your own work. Go on. Talking of homework, you've been taking on some extra recently, haven't you? Nah. Well, I can't concentrate on my mum's and my dad won't let me move in, so I'm stuck here. Not that sort of homework, you prat. Look, put it this way, Kelvin. Things are being nicked round here. Girls. Our girls, and we don't like it. Don't we? Well, you'd better put collars and leads on them, hadn't you? My sister. Been following her around recently, ain't ya? It's been Kelvin this and Kelvin that for the past fortnight. Oh, has it? Well? Well, the girl's got taste, hasn't she? No, thanks. A bit flash, isn't it? Not your usual brand. Well, they're selling them cheap down the market. Not that cheap, sunshine. I was down there myself this morning. It's a special offer. Very special. Where do they park this lorry that they fell off of, then? You're going to end up starring on Police 5, you know. I could get you some for the cap if you want. I don't fancy getting done for receiving. Thanks all the same. Do you get them bags off Nick Cotton? No. You sure? Are you calling me a liar? Did you? No. What did you do that for? Mark! You think you're an old man, don't you? No. Yes, you do. You think we're concrete for breakfast? We're well, going to get a chance to prove it. You might be needed. Oh. The words around it's going to be a new movement. A good one. Object. You should be. This is going to be fantastic. No one worth sitting. I've been asked to spotlight you later. Might want to help. 
Well, why should I bother? Don't be stupid. There's lots to be done. You could be important. You could get proper military training. Or even maybe get to end up with a gun. Sounds a while. Of course it is. Now, you in? Maybe. Old men don't say maybe. They say fist. They say do it now. Bagus and calculators. You take them, you are there. And you take them one at a time, to the school or the market or whatever. And you're flogging for three quid a piece and you give the money to me. Okay? What's that got to do with the movement? It's for funds, Mark. Funds to clean up the subhuman little that's polluting this country. You made you well, Where'd you get them anyway? I found them. Like I once found you doing something out of order, something which I have up till now kept stum about. How many? Oh, I couldn't sell them. And no one wants calculators anymore. They all use computers. You can sell them. You just ain't and try and hard enough. You'll be no good for the movement. Yeah, well, I've been thinking about that. Where can I pack it in for a bit? Will you now? We know we can't rely on the police, right? Do as you're told, sunshine. Because if you don't, I'll tell the old Bill who sniffed smack and made himself sick. And if they don't see to you, I'll come after you. And I'll break your fingers and I'll crush your toes. And that's just the starters, right? I know where you live. I can burn your house down. Just think of all the things I can do to you. Now, whose side are you on? Hey? I said, whose side are you on? What you lot want? Leave the boy alone. Why aren't you at school? I'm not aware of it being a holiday. You up in the wag again? Well? We haven't got to go in today. We're doing it outside. Yeah, I may be 70, but I ain't going feeble. At liberal studies. We've got to go into the community. Don't be funny. We've got to visit all old age pensioners and that. What the bleeding hell for? I should have thought after a lifetime's graft, the last thing you need in the twilight of your life is being pestered by little kids like you and your mates. What they're teaching you? Elementary mugging? Leave it out, Yeah. Man. Three generations of this family went to that school. Is that what it's come down to? What about your reading, writing and arithmetic then, eh? I've got to meet Sir and the others up the library. Well, pull the other one, son. It's got bells on. Look, we've got to listen to all their memories and stuff. Find out what it used to be like round here. Ask Michelle if you don't believe me. Boy, if you don't tell me, you could end up in Borstal. But it was him. He made me. Made you? How did he make you? Are you on heroin? Has Nick been supplying you? Is that it? No, look, I've got a gun. You wait! I want to know what's going on. Nick has been supplying a great many young people around here. Isn't that so? And he's heavily addicted himself, yes? But even with the dealing, we still had to get him more money. It was never enough. All right, so I tried it once or twice, but it just made me sick. And then he said he'd tell me Mum and Dad if we didn't get him more money. So you took him to Ethel's? No, he forced me. Forced you? I don't think so. You wanted the money and you wanted the excitement and that put you right under Nick's no, tongue. I wouldn't hurt Ethel. You've got to help me. Stop whining, boy. And pull yourself together before your parents see you. I'm taking you home now. They'll kill me. Listen, what happens now is very much up to you. This one's shut and all. I've got you this china. Oh, Mark. Well, if it's left to you, you won't do nothing. You've got a screwdriver, I'll put it on now for you. Well, that's most thoughtful of you. I do appreciate it, really, I do. I'll give you the money, of course. All right. Well, now, 
Where do I put that little box? Lofty might have one. Of course. I haven't thanked you properly yet. I didn't do nothing. Yes, you did. Here. Are you going to get into a lot of trouble for this? No. Should you? Mark. All right, so I've done some things I shouldn't have, but I didn't have any choice. Nick knows me. Does the Bill know about these things? No. Well, then, you're in the clear, aren't you? You're a very lucky boy. It isn't often you get chances like this. And you take advantage of it. That's what I say. How do you feel? I've never been so scared in my life. Well, draw them, then. What are you doing down here? Waiting for you to draw the curtains. Don't give me that. Oh, you all right? Yeah. Sure? Yeah, I couldn't sleep, that's all. Oh. Here, you make sure you have a good wash before you go to school today. Do you hear me? Oh, I ain't going to school today. Why not? You don't break up until tomorrow. Well, nobody's got to go in, not till the afternoon. Why? Well, I don't know, do I? What do you mean you don't know? What the hell do you do at that school? Don't you ask? Don't you listen? Doesn't anyone tell you? Michelle told you last week. Too many putting yourself about to pay attention to what's going on. What did Michelle say? You don't listen. You don't listen. Nobody listens. Why don't you tell him? Just tell him. The new science lab is being opened by some top, right? Right. Right, well, say so. Oh, yeah, that. So get in and start cheering. What good of that do, mate? See some silly geezer with a plonky accent bang a bottle of champagne against the wall. Now, listen, kiddo. You've just had one lucky escape. You've got to keep yourself out of trouble from now on, do you hear? Keep your nose clean and get on into school. What's the point? I'm telling you the point. You have no hope unless you stick with school. What hope have I got anyway? You will go to school. Is that clear? You will go to school. You will not loaf about the streets kicking milk bottles about. Have you got that stuck into your skull? Right, it's a cup of tea, sis. I ain't got no money. You've seen big charity. Help him bought me it. All right, I'll buy you one and all. That's all right, I'll change my mind. Don't want any now. Not for the United supporter anyway. Or is it? I ain't a United supporter. Of course you are. I'm an Arsenal fan. Well, leave it out, Arsenal wouldn't have you. But pay no attention to him. You know, I was thinking, why don't you come round to my house sometime, you know, for tea or something? What in? Yeah, why not? Just keep out of this, all right? Well, United supporter, that the guy's spare. Yeah, when? Uh, I'll have to arrange it with Mum first. Yeah, all right. Well, I won't be there. No, no one asked you. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, holidays, of course. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, well, my old man and my mum both want me to. Are you doing levels? Yeah, and CSEs. Yeah, me too. United supporters can't be educated over the age of 16. That's it. Well, let's go back to school. I'll be marching for the city with this misery. God, will you shut it? Long skin. It's on the house. Terrific, wasn't it? Yeah. Eh? Enjoy it. What are you doing down here? Looking for you. We got your note. Mm. I've missed you. Never. Surprised me too, but I have. Yeah, well, I missed you too sometimes, I suppose. <laughs> You're looking great. You put on a bit of weight since the lift. We haven't you my share of the grub. <sighs> Not exactly, but um, I'll tell you about that later. I've got to go tell Mum and Dad I found you. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy! <laughs> I'm so 
sorry, Mark. I told them you wouldn't be ready, but they're excited. No, it's okay. This is my sister. <sighs> Michelle, this is Ingrid, John and Melanie. Hello. Hello. I'll be through in about ten minutes. Well, look, uh, I'll go and buy them some sweets. You, you two will want to talk, huh? Yeah, okay, love. Okay, see you. Come on, darling, let's go with some sweets. Huh? I bet you didn't expect to find me being a parent. <sighs> Snap. What? Well, you said I was putting on weight. Who done it? Don't you start. I've had nothing but that for the past few months. You're okay, though. Yeah, I'm okay. So, where'd you go when you first left? Round. I used to envy you, you know, the freedom of it. Things has been bad at home. They're all right now. I went through a bit of a sticky patch just before I got pregnant, though. Yeah? I think it was my fault. The way I look at it now, it seems that way. I wish you'd been there. Sorry. It's all right. You got your life, I got mine. Just got to get through it the best way you can. I slept rough for a bit after I left. Don't tell mum and dad, though, they go spared. Oh, look, can I go and tell them where I found you? Just slow down a bit, Shell. What? I don't know if I want to see them yet. Hey? I thought about coming up a few times. Yeah, but you owe them that much, surely? Yeah, but they've got to let me lead my own life now. Even if it ain't what they want for me. I know. Just don't be too hard on them, eh? Yeah, as long as they're not too hard on me. You must ask him that yourself. Right, I'm finished now. So can we go and see mum and dad now? Chicken. It's funny, yeah. Pete said there was no snow at all in the square. It's nice here. Do come here often. What's so funny? Do you come here often? Sounds like a chat up line. Yeah, do you come here often? No, only in the mating season. <laughs> Dear, it dates me, doesn't it? I just wondered if you'd been to this cafe before, that's all. <laughs> Quite a lot, actually. It's just round the corner for us. Oh, well, saves your cooking, eh? <laughs> oh, Mark does most of that. I can see what you like eating out then. <laughs> oh, he's very good. Oh, our Ian's still gone on his cooking, you know. He's made us some smashing things. Mm, sometimes he uses my vegetables. You didn't know I had an allotment now, did you? No. Oh, it's really great. There's nothing much on it at the moment, of course, being winter. Just a few sprouts, cabbages, swedes. But you ought to come up and have a look at it sometime. Oh, I've got some real plans for it. We did some uh, potato picking last year. It's back-breaking stuff, that. Yeah, but it earns you a few bob, doesn't it? Um, are you all right for money? Yeah, we're OK. Way this meal's on us. That's the least we can do now that we've found you again. Mm. It's all right, we're both earning, so we treat you this time. Oh, well, lucky you said that. Otherwise, we would have ended up walking home. See, we only plan to come for the day. It's really good to see you again, son. So, this is where you work? Yeah. I've got a job now, you yeah? know. Congratulations. Yeah. Man needs a job. Uh, that's why I'm glad to see you're fixed up. Well, I've had quite a few jobs since I left. You know, casual stuff mainly. But this is permanent. Well, as long as we want it to be, yeah. Yeah, you need a permanent job. Now you've got responsibilities. Well, you had responsibilities and you were on the dole. Happens sometimes. Yeah. I'm a fag. But I don't smoke, Mark. Surely you remember that. Nah, well, it's been a while. Mum's been worried sick about you. Yeah? Yeah, she's had a lot on her plate lately. Your grand's been ill. In fact, she's only just come out of hospital. That's why she didn't come down. It could be serious. There we are. I'm glad to see you're settling down. I hope this means you're going to show some consideration. You know, you ought to visit your grand. She's very fond of you. She always has been. When you left, we didn't know what to think. There was all that business about Nick Cotton. Police getting? Oh, yeah, but they couldn't prove anything, though. You didn't have anything to do with that Reg Cox business. No. And you weren't on drugs? Oh, look, that's all in the past, Dad. I'm a different person now, so let's just forget it, eh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
it's done now. Let's just forget it, eh? No, the main thing is we've found each other again. So it's going to be a whole new beginning. I reckon 1986 is going to be our lucky year. Now, you watch, yeah? Everything's going to work out for the best, you see. What are you going to do tonight? I could make you a meal, if you like. Oh, no, thanks, and uh, we really should be getting back. Yeah, we can't leave your grand for too long. She thought we was only coming down for the day. Yeah, but we'll be seeing a lot of each other from now on. It's quick to get here by train and you can come up to visit us. I'm working six days a week. Yeah, I know, but we can fix something up, can't we? Hey, Sheila, have you got that uh, timetable? Yeah, yeah. That's it, look. There's plenty of trains. It's a good service. How are you going to get back, though? Mm. There's no trains tonight, is there? Oh, a bit of luck, that. A bloke in the guest house is going to visit some relatives down in Leightonstone. So, we can catch a lift. Yeah, I reckon we can stump up enough for a cab fare from yeah. there. Do you want me to chip in? Yeah, I know, that's all right. Well, I want a quiet word with Mark before we go, just the two of us. That sounds ominous. No, come on, no lectures, I promise. Won't be long. OK, then. Hello, Gran. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Hello, Gran, he says. Nearly frightens me to death and then says, hello, Gran, as calm as you like. How are you? Shouldn't you be in bed? Oh, son, I thought you was a ghost. The way Mum and Dad was talking, you're the one that's going to be a ghost soon. Oh, they no business to go frightening you. Well, I said you was really ill. Oh, no. I'm as strong as the horse. I'll outlive the lot of them. and won't half give them a telling off putting the wind up you. Here, come on into my room and I can have a good long look at you. Are they in? No. They're out. <laughs> yeah. I hope you don't mind me using your room, son. I, I can't do the stairs. That's all right. <laughs> I hear you got a lady friend. A couple of kids to support. Not much more than the kids yourself. You know, when you get to my age, everything happens so fast. Here, let me make us both a cup of tea. It's not time. Mum and Dad's going to be back soon. Oh, good. We can have it out with them, face to face. I'm not up to that yet. Now, come on, son. Tell me, why did you run away? Tell your old gran. I don't know myself, really. You know, maybe Mum and Dad was too good to us. Made me feel guilty. Oh, we all need love, son. Can't do without of it. None of us can. I oh, know, we just needed a bit of time. You know, space. Oh, yeah, like me. No room to swing a cat here, is there? Oh, oh, I've suddenly realised. None of us touched each other in our family, did we? I, I suppose it's like you said, we were too much in each other's pockets. You know, son, if I thought I was going to pass on and couldn't cuddle my grandchildren ever again, I, I don't know what I'd do. I think I'd die of a broken heart. Don't cry, Gran. I can't handle this if you're going to cry. Of course. Of course. Here. Come and have a look at your baby brother. Yeah, what do you think of him, eh? Oh, he's great, isn't he? Can <laughs> I pick him up? Yeah. Of course you can. Yeah, go. Careful, though. I'm used to this now, you know. Oh, of course you are. Got two nippers of your own, haven't you? They handsome like you are. Grand. <laughs> oh, there. Put me foot in it again, <laughs> ain't I? Oh, look, it's a mum and dad. No, I'm off. Right, see ya. <laughs> oh, just a minute, young man. You usually come out of houses like that, do you? What, what? Cocking your leg over the windowsill like a cat burglar. Doing a bit of housebreaking, are we, eh? No, I live there. Well, I used to. I just come to see my grain. Hold up, you're the uh, fowler lad, aren't you? Yeah. Well, well, well. We seek him here, we seek him there. And where does he turn up? Right under our bloody noses. Look, can I go in here? You are still on a missing persons list, my son. Listen, me mum and dad know where I am. Yeah, well, they haven't told us. Back for good, are we? No, I'm living in South End, yeah. You used to hang around with Nick Cotton, didn't you? Not a lot. Well, if you should happen to bump into him down South End, I shall give him a wide berth, because he is trouble. Yeah, I know. And we don't want to end up like him, do we? No. Good. On your bike, then. Ladies and gentlemen of Albert Square, it's birthday time for this nice pair. We wanted to give them a surprise treat, one that would knock them off their feet. So, please enter now, mystery man, and try and guess oh. him if you can. <laughs> we 
you won't hold you in suspense oh. too long. We know that that would be very wrong. <laughs> it's not Cliff Richard, I'll tell you that. Or Simon Le <laughs> Bon with a hat. Enough now of this suspense and fun. Our mystery man will just say... Hello, Mum. Oh, <laughs> 